This is how you install your Ridgeline towers. You'll want a copy of the printed instructions of your vehicle's specific ridge clips. You can download your instructions on fitlookup.yakima.com by loading your specific vehicle and clicking on the ridge clip. Here. Okay, installing your new towers is pretty simple, but it requires attention and care. So you create a super secure foundation for your Yakima system. The ridge line mounts onto your flush mount factory side rails. You will need the towers, the appropriate ridge clips for your vehicle, your crossbars, the included torque tool, a tape measure, and the printed instructions. We'll be referencing these three points of adjustment throughout the video. Okay, let's go. Pop the protective covers off each of the towers. Insert the torque tool into the pitch bolt adjustment screw. Turn it counterclockwise 15 times. Loosen the clamp bolt until it is flush with the nut on the back side of the tower. Now, drop the appropriate bar seat adapter into the top of each tower. You'll feel it snap into place. Make sure it's the right one for your bar. Attach the appropriate bar adapter into its seat. It helps if you insert the torque wrench into the bar adapter bolt first, flip the tower, and use the torque tool to tighten it down. Once it's engaged, it'll sound and feel like a gas cap. Give it three rounds of these multiple clicks. Do it for each of the towers. Next, attach your bars. Each bar is a little different. So be sure to follow the details and the printed instructions so you do this right. Install your base pads. Bars ready to go? Okay, time to get your rack on your car. It helps to have help for this. Set the towers on your flush mount factory side rails where you want them to sit. First, make sure your aero bars are placed properly with the rounded end forward. The bars should be facing the front of the vehicle, like this. Get the ends of the bar so they're an equal distance from the tower. And once they're placed correctly, install the inner and outer ridge clips for each tower. Each vehicle is different, so be sure to pay close attention to details in the printed instructions. Put the torque tool here, tighten the clamp bolt so the tower is center and fully tighten to the rail. It should click, like a gas cap. Now repeat these steps for the rear bar. Make sure your bars are at least 27 inches, 70 centimeters apart, front to back. Once they're placed correctly, install the inner and outer ridge clips. And tighten the rear towers to the rail. Once it's engaged, it'll click like a gas cap. Give it three turns. Now level out your bars. Put the torque tool here and tighten the towers to the bars. Again, like a gas cap. Make sure they're on there. The car should rock, the rack should not. If you are using Jetstream crossbars, then follow the instructions to cut and place the rubber infill for the bottom of the crossbar. Put your end caps on.
and put the cover over the tower. This is the time to add your SKS locks if you have them. Done. Removal is easy. Pop off the covers. Remove the ridge clips. Lift and store. Oh, make sure you know how tall your vehicle is with its racks and mounts, especially if they are loaded. What used to fit in your garage may not now. We know you're eager to hit the road, but please make sure you review your instructions to ensure a safe and fun adventure.